I got broads in Atlanta, just to throw in the family. Credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the van. Legacies, family. Wayne C, look like a panda. All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. of everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So two years, the gap in age with similar height and reach. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, First, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, mystery. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, we'll take yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch gloves and we are underway. Crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly. Oh, he might be out. Lee's kick is blocked. Winded up on the right there to no avail. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body. Big head kick! 
kick. Relax, relax. Oh, huge block. Nice Luffy punch. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jabs. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Kick to the body by Lee. Oh, high amplitude head kick. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. That one stuck in. Nice, right? The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything. Ever seen. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Another shot lands upstairs. He looks like Pac-Man. He's taking so many strikes to the head. Nice leg kick lands. There's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. That kick blocked by Lee. Misses with the right hand. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Straight right, he misses. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Nice punch, Lance. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Again, he's looking for that left, it's not there. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll, and you watch the opponent he's walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. 
Andy lands the knee to the body now. What a punch. Huge block there. Chin down, hands up. Oh, big head kick there. And that one was heavy. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He has landed that strike. He's very effective with it. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Just out of range with that strike. Head kick. Oh, head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Looping left hand misses the target. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He is certainly... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left hook there. Wow, what a head kick. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Lands with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. No wasted motion on those kicks, there's no tail. Pretty significant welts to the left side. Punch over the top. How about that shin? Oh, that's a good right hand. And he continues to work the body here. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, he just continues. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, he got a bad! All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Head kick lands. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent.
Third round underway. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Lee's kick is blocked. Big kick lands. Just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And now he lands a combination! Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Oh, straight right. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really want to turn the stunner. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, straight right. Great punch. Kick is blocked. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Lanza glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Powerful leg kick lands. And he landed the right hand there. So you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. By uh, working out of side control here, his opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Big kick lands. Back to the feet now. somewhere in this highlight grip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, 
both guys have to be willing to participate. Now we go inside the Octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. In this contest at four minutes, ten seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.